Now that we can fetch our friends from our RESTful API, let's go ahead and add some more code so we can actually edit those friends, delete those friends, and learn some more about Vue along the way. Uh, so the first thing we'll do, it'll probably be the easiest, let's go ahead and delete a friend now. Uh, so instead of just spinning out the friend's name, let's go ahead and actually add a button as well with an X on it. And when we click that button, we want to delete a friend. We're going to delete friend. And what we can actually do is we can actually pass in that friend's ID, which is gonna be super helpful. So we can delete that friend. So let's go ahead and make a method. So we're going to delete that friend by ID. We can use this fetch API just the same. We're going to fetch friends slash this time plus ID. So we're gonna send a delete request to view five friends ID. Uh, we're gonna also pass over some headers and some more information here. So let's actually, the method will be delete. And that's about all we need to pass in. We're just sending a delete request over. Um, this object here with the, the second argument in the fetch API is configuration. So we can pass in a method, we can pass in headers and all that. Uh, we won't need to parse that response at all. Basically, we're just going to delete our friend and then console log deleted. So let's see, load up our friends yep, and deleted. So he didn't go off the list. We'll address this in a second. But if I refresh, Will is now gone. And if I refresh, Willis is now gone. Excellent, so that, that made it pretty easy. So let's go ahead and also, we want to delete them from our friends list by index. So let's say we have a friend here. Let me go ahead and post some friends back here. Uh, we're gonna wanna actually pull them out of the friends list when that delete is successful. And we can easily do this by just splicing them out of that array. So we'll splice out either zero, one, or two. So what we can do is in this repeater, we can just do comma i, and we'll also get the i variable, which is the index of that friend. We can pass that in, that makes it super easy to do. We have their index and their ID. And I can just go this.friends, splice uh, that, and we're just gonna splice one person out. And since it's all reactive, when we splice that person out of the array, the whole component's gonna reload and it's gonna be super easy. William, gone, Willis, gone, William, gone. And if I refresh, yep, my friends are gone. If I reload this endpoint, yep, my friends are gone. So now that's working, all we have to do is add an edit feature and our friends adder and editor is 100% complete. Uh, so an edit is gonna be a slightly different scenario. Um, we're probably gonna want an edit mode here to where for editing, we see an input field and a button to save. Um, and if we're not editing, then we just see their name as is right now. View gives us some directives that make that kind of logic really easy. Uh, the V if and the V else. So I can go a div here, V if. So if we're editing, I'll address that in a minute. Then we display what's in that div. V else, then we'll display the I'm not editing mode. So let's say if. Uh, let's make something up here called edit friend. Edit friend up there. So if edit friend equals friend.id. So if we're editing our current friend's ID, uh, then we're gonna display this stuff in here. So we can do an input, friend name, and then a save button. And we'll make this uh, V on click update friend. And we'll just pass in the whole friend. So if we're uh, gonna update a friend, that'll be how we do it. Uh, let's go ahead and now make an update friend method. So if we wanna update our friend, this will actually be a put request. We're gonna actually pass some information over, so we need headers. We're gonna send over the application JSON content type. Um, and then we're also gonna need some data. So we're gonna need to put over a request body which will be just our friend that's been JSON stringified. So there we go, our fetch request got a little bit more complicated. We are going to send a put request to friend plus ID, and we're gonna send over our friend's information, 
Uh, and then we're also gonna send over the content type. That should be just fine. And when that's done, we're gonna say, hey, we're no longer editing our friend. So we're no longer editing any friends. Uh, one more thing we're gonna need down here is we're gonna need an edit button. Let's go ahead and make an edit button. And there's no need to create a method and call a method. We're just gonna go edit friend equals this, or friend.id. So we're just gonna really quickly just run some logic right there in that button. When you click on it, edit friend equals friend ID. Let's check to make sure that works. Edit, yep, that goes in edit mode. And that switches edit mode out, nice. Um, let's go change it to will I am. Save it, uh-oh, ID is not defined. Let's go check that out. Uh, I know what I did wrong there. Uh, there is no such thing as ID here. I need to call it friend.id because I'm actually passing in the entire friend object there. We should be good now. Let's check it out. Edit. Save it. And it looks like it worked. Let's refresh and see if it worked. It worked. Excellent. So we can now delete friends. We can edit friends. About all we need to do is learn how to create friends. Uh, before I do that, it's getting a little annoying to have to click this button, I wanna be able to do a key press. That button click is so circa 2005. So let's go ahead and say um, V on key up. And you can automatically do dot 13 here, which is super awesome. So uh, key press 13 is obviously the enter key. So whenever the enter key gets it, update friend. And now I can simply hit enter when I'm updating friends. Ah, much, much nicer. So that's really easy. Uh, Vue just makes things simple. It just makes them fast. Little things like this dot 13 make it really easy to just get your job done and get home early in the day. Uh, so all we need to do now is just make the ability to create a friend. Um, we simply would do a post request instead of a put request to that exact same endpoint, but I'll leave that out of here because that's just information you don't need at this point. Have fun, that's your homework. Add in here the ability to create a friend yourself. And that's how easy it is to work with dynamic data in Vue.